is so what happens is for these uh, in children so what is an infant is up to one year okay the child is from beyond one year to the puberty so in children as i had already said it the causes can be different however the length of cpr which should be done is identical in fact and uh, the most common cause for the vital function failure is choking choking happens due to foreign body airway obstruction otherwise also sometimes due to the infectious diseases which are affecting the epiglottis uh, the laryngeal tracheobronchial tree or having trauma as well so that is why uh, what happens is even if someone is having uh, not knowledge of the pediatric one try to do the same one as the adults so for example you can try to do five initial breaths which is being followed by 30 is to two compressions okay in a minute and in the meantime call the emergency number whichever is present in your country and uh, you can do up to 15 is to two as well so for example if there are two rescuers as well so what happens it is quite a lot similar like the adults however as i said foreign bodies are one of the most common causes in these kids because what happens they are the ones which will be getting dismantled from the toys or the other things and it is going to go inside after that so you have to try to look listen and feel but not more than 10 seconds okay post steadily over the patient uh, or the uh, kid try to look you know that whenever you're trying to do uh, the give the breathing the chest should visibly rise and also fall down as well at least give five breaths and you can always use a pediatric size of self-inflating bag now coming to the c so in that you should try to look for the signs of circulation like the movement the coughing skin color breathing check for the pulse so but you should not be wasting much of time as well if you're not able to get a pulse you should try to but if not more than 10 seconds similarly that is where you try to keep your fingers over the lower third of the sternum okay and one third of of the depth of the chest it should be given and at least 100 compressions per minute so the technique is almost similar in fact okay one rescue 30 is to two if there are two rescuers you can even do is like no, two is to 15 as well however there's a if there's an infant one is to three so don't forget two is to 30 is the normal one and two is to 15 as well you can do it in fact okay the algorithm of cpr so that that is there to simplify in fact so in the infants so this is what happens is especially for the kid similarly you are trying to do the same thing okay and for the foreign body airway obstruction for the kid you should try to initially assess the severity if there's effective cough encourage the cough and try to you know keep on checking for the deterioration okay similarly if there's ineffective cough for unconscious patient you should try to do must open the airway try to give five breaths and do the cpr similarly however if there's ineffective cough so you can try to do is five back blows from the back okay and follow it over here so this is the algorithm which should be followed for that and as i have already said you what are the signs you should try to observe when there is a possible foreign body airway obstruction because most of the times that is the one which is a problem for that so what are the different complications which can be happening so yes this is a great thing if you are trying to help someone but there are problems as well which can happen problems what are the problems problems like the gastric distension which happens often in the kids so how do you prevent it by uh, trying to avoid over inflating the lungs okay so the appropriate volume should be used which is just good enough to make the chest rise 
again to, for the rib fractures you try to prevent by correcting the hands position and you should not remove hands from chest wall okay and even for the gastric content aspiration can happen a lot of times so that is why try to avoid the gastric distension and try to use it in recovery position in the unconscious victims so especially in the kids there are some problems which may be encountered frequently for example like the croup cough so in the cases of laryngotracheobronchitis so especially for younger kids in the age group of 1 to 3 years due to viral origin the children is going to have the kid is going to have a barking cough okay so with problems like dysphonia aphonia as well so epiglottis problems may be in fact there as well with air hunger anxiety and sitting position so mortality also can be associated so for such patients immediately transfer to a hospital which is having a specialist care but not a general care so this is the figure which i would like to emphasize for everyone for the infant cpr either if you can try to put your hands around so in the as you can see in the figure a you should try and using thumb you can compress otherwise if you are finding it difficult you can try to use the two fingers as well what is the index finger and the middle finger try to put them together in the lower area of the sternum and 